friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, myself Mudu. So my YouTube channel is Science Match Academy 2023. In this YouTube channel, you will get everything about class 10th math science. So tricky methods, old question papers will be solved, new question papers, new model papers will be solved. So everything will be get in only one channel. So please like my video, share my videos and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon. Any doubt is there, please comment in the comment box. Thank you. Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to answer for the differences. So, what are the differences? Now, we will answer for the differences. Saturated and unsaturated. So, let us list the difference between saturated and unsaturated. It has saturated has single bond. Unsaturated has it has double bond. Or triple bond. Then the second difference is it is less reactive. It is less reactive. It is more reactive. This is the second difference. Third difference is it undergoes it undergoes substitution reaction it undergoes substitution reaction unsaturated it undergoes addition reaction it undergoes addition reaction example for saturated alkene Example for unsaturated, it is alkene and alkyne. So these are the differences between saturated and unsaturated. Now let us move for the second question. What are the differences between generator and motor? Generator, it is a device which converts it is a device which converts mechanical energy. It is a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Then motor. It is a device which converts. It is a device which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. This is the first difference. Then coming to the second difference, to know the direction, to know the direction, to know the direction of magnetic field force, as a magnetic field, motion of the conductor and electric current, to know the direction, Fleming's right hand rule is used. Fleming's right hand rule is used. To know the direction, to know the direction, Fleming's left hand rule is used. So this is the second difference between that is uh, generator and motor. So now let us move for the next question. What are the differences between exothermic and endothermic? Exothermic, the reaction in which energy is, the reaction in which energy is released. Then what is endothermic? The reaction in which Energy is absorbed. Energy is absorbed. This is the first difference. Second, let us write the uh, example for both exothermic and endothermic. So, exothermic reaction, uh, example, that is uh, CaO plus H2O 
give rise to C A O H taken twice plus heat. Energy is released. So now let us write the example for uh, endothermic reaction. Two F E S O four give rise to F E two O three plus S O two plus S O three. So here energy is absorbed. So this is the difference between exothermic and endothermic reaction. Now let us move for the fourth one. So fourth difference is uh, we have to write the difference between biodegradable and non-biodegradable. So biodegradable is the process in which in which complex in which complex substances is converted into complex substance is converted into simple substance by biological process by biological process the process in which complex substance complex substances is not converted into simple by biological process by biological process so this is the first difference between biodegradable and non biodegradable second is it causes less pollution it causes less pollution so non biodegradable it causes more pollution then the third difference it remains less time in the environment it remains less time in the environment ikade it remains more time or long time in the environment in the environment then example for biodegradable vegetable vegetable and fruit peels here example is plastic glass etc so these are the differences between biodegradable and non biodegradable now let us move for the next one what are the differences between ac alternating current and direct current current flows in current flows in both the direction current flows in both the direction current flows only in current flows only in one direction second difference is voltage can be varied voltage can be varied voltage cannot be varied third difference is it is third difference is it is easily available it is not easily available
AC can be easily converted into AC can be easily converted into DC DC cannot be easily converted into AC so these are the four differences between AC and DC now let us move for what are the differences between ammeter and voltmeter first one an instrument an instrument used to measure an instrument used to measure current an instrument used to measure an instrument used to measure voltage this is the first difference second one is it is always it is always connected in it is always connected in series voltmeter it is always connected in parallel always connected in parallel then the third difference is it has low resistance it has high resistance so these are the differences between homologous sorry ammeter and voltmeter so idu ammeter matte voltmeter iruvantaha differences so now let us move for the next question that is question number 7 that is what are the differences between series circuit and parallel circuit series circuit ge varana modane point series circuit nalli so that is uh, current will be current will be same at current will be same at each resistor ikade current will be divided at each resistor is divided at each resistor then second one voltage will be divided voltage will be divided at each resistor voltage will be same voltage will be same at each resistor then the third difference is total resistance is more than individual resistance total resistance is lesser than individual resistance so rs is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 and uh, one over rp is equal to one over r1 plus one over r2 plus dash dash so this is the difference between series circuit and parallel circuit now let us move for the eighth question homologous series and analogous series 
सो वो मोलग सीरीज के बरना दैट इज द ऑर्गन्स द ऑर्गन्स हैविंग सेम स्ट्रक्चर बट different function but different function but different function analogous the organs having different structure having different structure but same function the second one is they have they have origin from common ancestor common ancestor they do not have origin from common ancestor then example four limbs of four limbs of frog humans dog next wings here analogous wings of bat wings of bat birds butterfly so these are the differences between homologous series and analogous series now let us move for the next one that is what are the differences between oxidation reaction and reduction reaction so oxidation and you know the process of or the reaction the process of gaining of oxygen the process of gaining of oxygen or removal of hydrogen then the process of losing of oxygen or gaining of gaining of hydrogen so this is first one second one ke varana so illi uh, losing of electrons ikade gaining of electrons नेक्स्ट थर्ड एक्सापल ना तक आक्सीडेशन के सो टू एम जि प्लस ओ टू गिव रईस टू टू एम जि ओ नेक्स्ट बरण एक्सापल टू सी यु टू सी यु ओ प्लस एच टू गिव रईस टू टू सी यु प्लस एच टू ओ सो दीस आर् द डिफ्रेंस बिटवी oxidation and reduction so now let us uh, uh, move for the next one that is what are the differences between blood and lymph modane difference ke barana it is red in color due to presence of it is red in color due to presence of red pigment called hemoglobin called hemoglobin it is colorless fluid it is colorless fluid due to absence of 
due to absence of hemoglobin next second difference is so blood ye varana it its components are its components are rbc wbc plasma and platelets and platelets so ikade lymph ge varana its components are plasma and wbc plasma and wbc so idu eradnedu next third one ge varana so blood ge now difference na heladadre third one it carries it carries substances from substances from one organ to from one organ to another ini kade varana it carries substances from tissue into the blood into the blood in a path bariyana path bariyadadre so arteries so arteries will carry blood so arteries in the blood it will be carried to all the parts of the body so arteries arteries in the body ella body ku ella parts ku transfer agutte ali in the veins veins in the matte heart next to path ig varana so athwa il blood blood capillaries anta serskobodu so tissue space so tissue space in the lymphatic lymphatic capillaries lymphatic capillaries in the lymphatic vessels lymphatic vessels lymphatic vessels in the blood so like this it will be carried so like this we have to list the differences between blood and lymph now let us list the differences between arteries and veins so arteries ig barana it carries it carries oxygenated blood from heart to all the parts of the body to all the parts of the to all the parts of the body next ee kade barana it carries it carry carbon dioxide rich blood from various from various parts to the body to the heart then the second difference is it has thick and it has thick and elastic walls ee kade varana it has thin and elastic walls third difference is that so moorna difference ke varana so it it do not have it do not have valves ee kade varana it have valves next nalakne difference ke varana so arteries the last difference is so now let let us move for the next one difference between ac generator and dc generator so ac generator ge varana current flows 
current flows in both the direction current flows in both the direction ee kade varana current flows current flows only in one direction only in one direction then the second difference says slip rings are used slip rings are used ikade varana difference ge split rings are used split rings are used so these are the differences between that is uh, ac generator and dc generator so now let us move for the next one that is uh, uh, differences between concave lens differences between concave lens and convex lens so concave lens matte convex lens ku iruvanta difference anna nortta hogana so concave ge barana it is thin at the center and thick and thick at the edges and thick at the edges ee kade barana convex ge it is thick at the center thick at the center and thin at the edges and thin at the edges then the second difference between concave and convex lens ig baradadre it is it is a diverging lens it is a diverging lens convex ig barana it is a converging lens it is a converging lens moorne difference ke barana the third difference is so concave lens na now uh, it it produces always a virtual and erect virtual and erect image it forms both virtu uh, it forms both virtual and real image so these are the differences between concave lens and convex lens now let us move for the next one what are the differences between concave mirror and convex mirror so concave go convex mirror go difference na nodana so concave ig barana it is a converging mirror it is a converging mirror so ee kade barana it is a it is a diverging mirror it is a diverging mirror is the first one then coming to the second one so second one ge baradadre so concave ge heladadre the reflecting surface is the reflecting surface is the reflecting surface is inward convex ig bandre the reflecting surface is the reflecting surface is outward so these are the two differences between so concave mirror and convex mirror now let us move for the next one what are the differences between xylem and phloem the first difference is that it is a water conducting tissue xylem is a water conducting tissue phloem ge barana it is a food conducting tissue 
it is a food conducting tissue this is the first difference between xylem and phloem it takes place due to suction pressure it takes place due to it takes place due to osmotic pressure due to osmotic pressure this is the second difference between xylem and xylem and phloem xylem water conducting phloem food conducting it takes place due to suction pressure it takes place due to osmotic pressure it carries water only in it carries water only in upward direction carries water only in upward direction it carries food it carries food both in upward and downward direction upward and downward direction so it carries water only in upward direction it carries food both in upward and downward direction so these are the differences between that is what we call as xylem and phloem now let us uh, list the difference between pollination and fertilization so now let us uh, list the difference between pollination and fertilization so pollination ke varana modane do the process of the process of transfer of the process of transfer of pollen grains from from anther to stigma this is pollination ee kade bandre the the fusion of male and female male and female gametes male and female gametes to form zygote to form zygote then second difference is pollination it is a physical process it is a physical process and requires external agent like air water animal birds etc so in ee kade barana so it is a it is a cellular biochemical process cellular biochemical process and requires sorry and does not requires and does not requires external agent so this is the second difference between pollination and fertilization then the third difference is pollination it occurs it occurs in the early stages of sexual reproduction sexual reproduction of plant in a ikade varana so it 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 is a it is preceded it is preceded by pollination 
that means fertilization occurs after pollination so these are the differences between pollination and fertilization now let us move for the next one that is uh, corrosion and rancidity let us uh, uh, differentiate between corrosion and rancidity so corrosion ik barana the process of spoilage of metal the process of spoilage of metal when exposed to when exposed to air moisture and acid air uh, air moisture and acid ikade varna the process of so the process of oxidation the process of oxidation of the process of oxidation of fats and oils fats and oils when exposed to air when exposed to air example corrosion ke example lo rusting of iron so rusting of iron is an example of corrosion then example for rancidity that is uh, foul smell foul smell of oil and fat food items foul smell of oil and food items oil and fat items so these are the differences between corrosion and rancidity now let us write the differences between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration so now let us make a list of differences between aerobic and anaerobic so aerobic ik barana it takes place it takes place in presence of oxygen it takes place in presence of oxygen it takes place in absence of oxygen in absence of oxygen this is the first difference then coming to the second difference ke varana so aerobic matte anaerobic alle so it releases 36 atp of energy it releases 2 atp of energy then the third difference is it takes place in it takes place in both cytoplasm and cytoplasm and mitochondria it takes place it takes place only in cytoplasm fourth difference is the end products are the end products are so which are the end products the end products are carbon dioxide water carbon dioxide water vapor then the end products are the end products are carbon dioxide and ethanol so these are the differences between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration so thank you very much thanks for everyone who is support, supporting my youtube channel thank you very much